Howdy folks, it's Donnie once again, and in this chapter of our System D Basics series, we're going to look at targets versus run levels. Now back in the old SysV init days, we had run levels, which were nothing in the world except just the state in which the operating system is running. So we could have our operating system running in graphical mode with a desktop or in just text mode, which is very common for servers. We could also have the reboot and the shutdown run levels, and we also had a single user mode run level, which was for emergency maintenance. But with System D, we no longer have run levels. Instead, we have targets. They're basically the same, but just with different terminology. And as you may have guessed, we're going to use system CTL in order to change targets. Okay, here we're going to take a look at our virtual machine. And this time we're running one with the full-blown KDE desktop environment. And the first thing I want to do is go into the Etsy directory. And we're going to look at the init tab file there. And you see that we do have an init tab file. Now, Back in the day in the pre-system D distros, the init tab file was used to set the default run level. And normally it would be set to either a graphical run level or a text mode run level. And in the case of the Red Hat style systems, that would be either run levels 3 or 5, okay, uh, depending upon you know, what you wanted. But if we go in there now, You're going to see that this init tab file does nothing for us anymore because we're not going to use the init tab file at all. Okay? So it's now gone. So we're now going to have another mechanism which we'll use to set our default target. And we'll look at that here in just a moment. Now, we can see what targets we have like this. Do system CTL list dash units dash dash type target. And as before, the system CTL command pipes the output into less for us automatically, so we don't have to pipe it into less ourselves. And we see that we have a whole bunch of targets, but most of these are going to be used by your daemon processes, your services. So we're not going to be working with most of these directly. And by default, it's going to only going to show the active targets. We hit Q to get out of that. And we will do this again, except now we'll put a dash dash all at the end of the command. And we see now our inactive targets. Now, so far as what targets we will be working with, let's go over here and we're going to see here that we have a list of targets with their corresponding run levels in the pre-system D days. And what, what we're really looking at here is the old Red Hat style of run levels because, and that's another thing too, you know, uh, with the SysV init, your different Linux distro families would have their own definitions of run levels. Red Hat would have its own definition. Debian had its own definition. Slackware has its own definition. So it was kind of confusing, you know, if you had to go back and forth between the different distros. But uh, now with the system D, we have all this unified just as we have with all our all of our daemon management commands. So now our targets are going to be the same. And so you see there uh, at the top, run level zero or what used to be run level zero is now the power off target. It works differently though than the old run level zero because with the old run level zero if you do uh, the command to go into run level zero it would shut down the operating system but would not power off the machine. Well we don't have that anymore okay. Uh, now the power off target is going to do exactly what it says. It's going to power off the machine okay. Uh, the rescue target the same as the old single user mode where nobody except for the root user could log in and it would be used for emergency type of maintenance. 
and run levels two and three are what used to be run levels two and three are now consolidated into the multi-user target that is going to be just your normal text mode for like when you're running a server and then the graphical target is of course going to be the equivalent of the old run level five where you have your full-blown desktop environment and then of course uh, what was run level six is now the reboot target and uh, the run level four the user target I don't know of any use for that right now so uh, right now basically when you are setting up a server you're going to be setting it up for either the multi-user target or the graphical target okay uh, there is one target here which is not listed and that is the emergency target so the emergency target is kind of like the rescue target except the emergency target it's uh, uh, even more stripped down right so emergency target you're mounting your your file system read only uh, and uh, you basically got nothing there okay uh, but anyway that aside let's go back over here to the virtual machine and let's see what our default target is right now so we're going to do system CTL get default like that and a default is the graphical target okay so that just means of course that when we boot the machine it's going to come up with the full-blown uh, with the full-blown graphical environment we can change that by doing system CTL set default multi-user like so and it would help if I were to spell it correctly and optionally you could put a dot target on there but you don't have to you can just leave that off and now we do our set default or our get default rather and you see now it is for multi-user targets so now if I were to reboot the machine it would just come up into the regular text mode but we don't really want that let's go ahead and set that back Let's set that back to graphical okay and now we can do is our get default and we're back to graphical just as we want it all right now let's say that we want to drop out of graphic mode just temporarily in order to do something that you can only do from the command line okay but in this case we don't want to go down to the rescue mode well, we just want to go down to the equivalent of the old run level three where we just have a command line okay and uh, this would be good for example let's say you have an Nvidia graphics card in your machine and you have downloaded the proprietary NVIDIA graphics cards drivers from the NVIDIA website and you want to install them well in order to do that you have to go to a text mode but you can't do it with from the rescue mode or from the old single user mode you have to go to the regular old text mode the equivalent of the old run level 3 so you can do that by doing system CTL isolate why they call it isolate I don't know and then list the mode that you want to go into so it's system CTL isolate multi-user and the nice thing about it is that it works instantaneously because if if you remember anything about the old Sisley and NIT systems it uh, used to take a while to change modes like this but with your your system D it's like instantaneous and from here we can either reboot the machine to go back into the graphical mode or we can just go ahead and do the isolate there as well and you can see we are back up
So it works very nicely. So really that's pretty much it for the concept of your targets and how to change targets and what your different targets are. And I think that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it for this lesson. Anyway, if you like the videos, be sure to subscribe and comment and like the videos as well. And of course, I will be continuing the series on System D. So stay tuned if you need to learn System D for certification exams or whatever. I'll try to help you out. All right. So anyway, Donnie out. We'll catch you next time.